If you're up on nutrition and studying primal nutrition and following people like Sally Fallon, Weston Price, you've probably learned that organ meats are one of the most nutritious, vital foods that exist. And the meats of wild animals are infinitely more nutritious than that of farm-raised animals for a lot of different reasons. The main one is that they're eating wild plants that are growing in natural environments with deep tap roots that are drawing up minerals and all kinds of vital nutrients from wild soils all around them. That's what the animals are taking in. And as we all know, you are what you eat, right? So wild animals have this dense load of nutrients versus farm-raised animals that might be on pasture, which would be one of the best possible scenarios, might be eating hay, most likely are eating grain that was grown through industrial food systems, harvested with the use of fossil fuels, and usually grown on really depleted soils. So they have nowhere near the nutrition in their meat nor in their organs. So one of the best things you can do for your body is eat the organ meats of wild animals. I'm lucky in that I happen to like organ meats, but it still can be daunting to go through an entire, say, elk liver in enough time that it's not going to go bad on me, right? The best way to get your nutritious, your, your vital nutrition is spread out over time, not a whole blast all at once. So in that way, it can be nice to have a way to preserve your organ meats and have a little bit over time. So this here is a deer liver from a deer that I processed. So, because I'd like to be able to spread out the nutrition from this wonderful nutrient-rich deer liver, and because I might want to be sharing it with people who aren't that into the taste of liver, I'm going to use a technique that a good friend of mine uh, often does, which is drying the liver and then powdering it and putting it into capsules so that you can take it like you would take a vitamin, only infinitely better than a vitamin, right? Because it is wild food, easily digestible, and just as nature intended it. So I'm going to go ahead and slice this liver into thin slices, as thin as I can get them, and then I'm going to lay it on the sheet. In an ideal world, I would be sun drying this um, right here in this Redwood Canyon in which I'm currently living. Not really enough sunlight to dry, especially something that goes bad relatively quickly, like liver. Um, so instead, I'm going to be using a dehydrator inside. So because I took this out of the freezer, I'm going to have options in how I process it. The very best way to process organ meat or other meats for jerky is having them be slightly frozen still. So take them out of the freezer, let them sit in a bag in the refrigerator just until there's still ice crystals in them, but they're not a solid frozen hunk. That makes for really easy slicing and you can get the meats cut really thin. However, this has already thawed. So I'm just gonna use this very sharp knife that my amazing blacksmith friend made for me with metal that he smelted himself. Totally incredible. So that's probably about a third of a good sized deer liver. So it's not the whole thing. So now I'm going to lay these out like so. So now I've got a beautiful tray of liver ready to go in the dehydrator. And I'll probably do it for about 12 hours at around 150 degrees. I don't want to cook it, I just want it to dry thoroughly. And then I'll peel it off and flip it and give it another go until it's pretty dry and chalky. I've dried lungs, liver, kidney, spleen, and blood in a dehydrator. Blood is really fascinating. You let it congeal and it's kind of this texture like tofu and then you can slice it just like you would tofu again into thin strips and then when you dry it it just like crumbles into these blocky little crystalline things and then you can put it in a jar and then you can just put it into soups stews sprinkle it into stir fries any way to get that really nutrient rich super iron rich blood and organ meats into your system um, lungs are a little bit funny because they are filled with air, so they end up kind of this weird little spongy, super light, like a pink styrofoam. And you can eat them raw, like jerky like that, but they do kind of stick in the teeth. So they take a little getting used to. My friends and I call them meat mallows because they've got like that soft, fluffy texture of marshmallows, but a totally different flavor, obviously. So lungs are pretty mild. Heart is really mild, and heart I just always eat fresh because it's amazing. Um, spleen, liver, and kidneys, they're all, they can be a little bit strong, so for the faint of heart or the not super 
organ meat appreciator. Those are good ones to dry and then you can just grind them. Um, you can grind them with a mortar and pestle if you get them dry enough or a Vitamix is really nice or any kind of food processor, herb grinder, anything that's gonna get it down into a fine powder. And then you can just buy the gelatin caps that they have a lot of herb stores or health food stores will have them. You can, <coughs> most places that sell herbs or powdered herbs of any kind will tend to have these little gel caps and they come in size zero or double zero. And depending on the amount of dried organ meats that you have, you can use whichever size you want for the amount of nutrition you wanna take in. And then you can take these every day or every couple days, or you can kind of decide for yourself how you wanna spread out the nutrition. If, you're, if you've been ill and you haven't been eating really well, or if you have something strenuous coming up, or if you're pregnant, those are all times when it would be good to eat, a, eat them a lot more, um, just to, to build up your system because not only are these more nutrient rich than most anything else you can get your hands on, and more so than vitamins, but they're more assimilable than vitamins. You're eating real food that your body evolved to eat and process, which means you're gonna make much better use out of this than you would out of just a vitamin. See how it's not, it's a totally different texture than meat. So meat would be stringy and held together kind of in breaking it up, but organs, they're not like that at all. They really have a texture a lot more similar to like tofu or jello, um, really kind of soft and squishy when raw and just this kind of crumbly, blocky texture when dry. So you gotta get them pretty dry in order to have them break apart easily. If they're not totally dry, then they'll kind of bend a little bit and then they're not gonna, they're not gonna grind up very well. So now this little jar is almost an entire elk liver, which is like that big starting out, pretty good size elk liver, and one whole deer liver, which is more like that, minus the little bits that I ate while it was fresh, because of course you gotta eat your fresh organs when you have the opportunity. Um, so yeah, this is an amazing little jar packed full of nutrition that I can grind up and have a little bit of every day for probably months. And Thank you deer and elk and thank you all of the wild lands that support them in living such a bountiful, beautiful, free wildlife. I feel pretty blessed by all of this wondrous nutrition. Many times in my life I have wished for just such a thing. Thanks so much for joining me and for your interest in more skills for living a bountiful wild life. And if you'd like more information about any of the things that I do, including all kinds of educational resources for ancestral skills, homestead, off-grid living, and more, please check out my website at www.buckskinrevolution.com where you can sign up for my mailing list and find out more about more of the classes and events that I teach. Thanks so much. Enjoy.